Greetings out of these and guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Kitchen Run Kingdom, where with a new update coming out that has to do with one Darcher cookie, that means one important thing came out in regards to the new story, which uh, ooh, I will take that, thank you very much. There's this thing over here called uh, Vanquisher Darkness, yes it is. Basically, this is the whole new story that's focused around one Darcher cookie and probably a couple other cookies where uh, everything is gonna go down. And I mean like everything, cause like, sheesh, this is uh, it's a lot of cutscenes, but uh, I don't know how many cutscenes we'll get through, maybe we can get through like a story, battle, story, and then a battle, uh, cause here's the thing, there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, there's 11 things here, but that would mean there's 8 cutscenes? I think just about, so I don't know how many we can do per video, because it kind of depends on how fast battles can go. Uh, but I want to go ahead and cover this new story, because uh, well, it seems to be the focal point of the update, so it makes sense. So, with that being said, while I go ahead and go through the story, I will be seeing if I can read comments from uh, the video I have pulled up here, which is, uh, are the suburbs hiding a dark secret? Or the suburb, like, suburbs? Suburbs? Doesn't really matter, because I'm still saying the same thing, but... Still, if you want to leave your question in the comments down in the comment section below for me to read down this video, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, then that's what matters the most. So, with that being said, let's start this off with one comment, which is kind of long, but it's been left by uh, uh, Ari uh, Alan Parker, which says, Common question. Yes, my entire class did. One of our pro uh, pragmatics lessons was an online food safety course and there was a test at the end of it everyone failed one of my classmates and dug through the code and found out that the test results were always fixed to around 64 percent oh my gosh you it was you were made to fail that's so scummy how does the plumbing how does the school do that that's stupid like that, that that's stupid they're, they're setting you up to fail i would actually leave that school that's just a scam Alright, I've heard of bad scams, but that one just takes the cake. That one takes the plumbing whole bakery! I'm sorry, that's just bad. But, whatever. I don't want to go ahead and rant too much already. We have to go ahead and uh, go chasing the darkness, I guess. Which it says here, follow Windarcher Cookie's footsteps to find the truth about the dark. And it says, after having arrived in Beasties, Windarcher Cookie remembers a conversation in the Maze Grove. Which, this might be in reference to, like, uh, Windarcher and Millennial Tree talking. I don't know, but this is how it works. The wind has brought me here, beast yeast. It seems as though the land itself is devouring the power of life. The cycle of day and night is irregular. There is something foul in the wind. <sighs> the abyss of darkness and its whispers. What could this mean? Did Millennial Tree Cookie see something sinister amidst the ever-changing threads of time? <laughs> I must focus. My mission remains unchanged. I will see that no dark spawn threatens our world. Wow, that was uh, that was surprisingly quick for a cutscene. And to be fair, I think uh, you'd, I don't know if I have to do anything just to do this. All I have to do is just go through some levels, and that's basically it. But uh, things are already rising up in the story. That's for sure. So, I guess I will fight in the security breach. That's a FNAF reference. Uh, but before I do that, there actually is a few comments from an idiot. One saying, I'm here late. I commented late. Dude, it doesn't matter when you comment. As long as you appear, it's fine. And your other comment says, Common question of the day, Rainbow Cubes in the Mylet Shop and Moonlight Jam is apparently a scam. Yeah, the, I, I, I guess? I guess it's subjective, but still. But there's also a few comments from uh, Mona Lovely saying, Common question. My brother scammed me by saying, if I give him $5, he would give me $10, but he never gave me the $10. Okay, here, here's the tip for that. Ask for that first. Or, if he never gives it to you, always torment him about it. Always. He'll eventually learn up to it. Because you can't escape your past crimes. Anyway, your last comment says, I'm back to commenting in all the videos because I'm back from Spain. How was Spain? That sounds fun. I'm glad that you went there. Sounds adventurous. Uh, I only have Wind Archer Cookie. That's all, that's all I'm being given. What? Like, no, no treasures? Like, no allies? Just Wind Archer and that's that? Part of me has a very, like, scary suspicion that one of these levels is actually going to be one that I guaranteed lose. I would most likely assume we're in a pickle, because I don't know how Wind Archer works, so it's probably going to teach me how to... Maybe it's going to be, like, one of those things that they did in, like, Tower of Adventures, where, like, you kind of go through a character's story, and this is how you, like, test them out. That's, like, my only guess, but other than that... 
this is this this is all I'm going for. So we're gonna have to see what happens. I guess we're jumping straight into the battle. Uh, if you saw a cut right there, no, you didn't. Uh, anyway, back to this. Hello, security breach. Guarding this cave, I assume. I I guess we're just Purify. boom. Uh, yeah, that's what you get. Take this. I'm shooting a mi mighty ton of arrows. I guess the best thing we can just kind of do is just spam the attack. Oh, that's a big beam. Okay, that was kind of mystic. Uh, can I see this? Upon transforming, one Dr. Cookie shoots the arrow gale, pushing back the sound enemies. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, shoot these. Uh, purify them. And they're all stunned. And they also have uh, a plumbing debuff, something in the wind. Okay. Interesting, interesting. But just take this plumb out. There's only going to be like one more wave after this, so we should be good. Thank everything. We're at least at like level 80. We got Mighty Gale. Uh, and we have Tailwind and also Max purify. HP. Which, yeah, spam that. Yeah, stop. Hopefully we can do more damage than the boss. Yes, we can. Okay. That's plumbing stacks upon stacks of hundreds of thousands right there. So at least we got our actual damage going. Alright. I have fulfilled my duty. So I'd, I'd assume the first level wouldn't be too bad. Later on, I feel like it's going to be a lot, a lot of pain and anguish. But I do get this. I will take that. And now I can go ahead and go to the Liberty... Uh, Wait, is this thing? Fight off King Monsters guarding the underground. Okay. But now I can go ahead and take off to uh, the Laboratory of Deceit, which says, It all began with Deceit. The first protocol has been commenced. What does that mean? Before I do that, I'm going to read some comments, because this is already getting crazy. Uh, there's one from Sonic Gamer saying, Common question, at one time I bought some rechargeable Wii Remote batteries, so they wouldn't have to keep spending so much money on disposable batteries. Somehow, they just, they decharge even when the Wii Remotes aren't even powered on. Uh, maybe they gotta be, like, eternally charged, I don't know, but... Uh, I, I swear I hate battery scams. Those are the worst things. But LJ Chef Roblox left a comment saying your Hyperheim's awesome content. Keep it up, bro. Well, thank you so much. I'm that, just like I, in general, just thank you for leaving the comment on the video. And also, Linda DeGio left a comment saying a comment question today. I actually never got scammed. I'm impressed. You're a lot more uh, observant than I ever will be. All right, cutscene time. Laboratory of deceit. This seems like an ancient tree stump oozing dark, foul sap. And yet. Inside is an endless maze-like cavern with walls of sleek metal. Where does it lead? And what awaits me at the end? No! That was the last one. I hear footsteps. Two cookies. Initiating life energy siphoning sequence. Awaiting your signal. Transmitting signal. Three, two, one. Machine activated. Life energy accumulation rate is within optimal parameters. Energy vault status, normal. Siphoning machine is running at full efficiency. No deviations found on all stages of the deceit protocol. Phew. Whatever for do they need not one, but two cookies to turn the machine on? Life energy is the cornerstone of our research. Siphoning it is the crucial first step of the process. That is why we called it the Deceit Protocol. It's important to ensure that it goes smooth as butter. Yeah, yeah. I can see why they say you never make mistakes. <laughs> Hurry up. We have a lot to do. All right, all right. They said that siphoning life energy is but the first step. But to what end are they planning to use such power? I must learn more. So they're just taking life energy and uh, they're doing dirty deeds with it. I don't like the sounds of that. That sounds awful, if I'm being honest. So I don't know how long we are into the video because I had to do a quick cut, honestly. But uh, how much can we get done, honestly? Like, I feel like maybe we can get like a fourth or fifth more. It, it just depends on like how much story. Because here's the thing. The last part's going to be loaded with story. Because it's like, you know, story, battle, story, battle, then story, story, battle. Story, 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 story. That's going to be so much lore to prompt in that it might take like around three videos to finish this all off. But before I go ahead and continue on, we're going to go ahead and uh, ask a common question of the day for... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, for a common question of the day, I would ask something in regards to the story, but I would like to actually learn more about it. But, how about this, for a common question of the day, what do you think is a subject that you're the most knowledgeable about? I know that's kind of confusing for me to ask, like, because you may be asking, like, what, what, are you, what are you trying to imply here? I mean, like, is there anything that you may know that you may think you have, like, a lot more knowledge in, in one aspect than another? Because I could tell you, I somehow have more knowledge in some aspects than others. Like, for example, if you were to tell me, like, name stuff about history, 
I'm, I'm screwed. Like, I have nothing. I have nothing. But if you told me how to do, like, I don't know, something as simple as, like, maybe math, I'm somehow not as bad as that. Like, I, I can't do, like, full-blown algebra. Algebra sucks. But, like, basic equations and stuff like that, I can somehow quickly, like, come up with stuff like that. And even other subjects as well, like, useless game knowledge. Or, like, how to start a conversation. How to literally avoid, like, drama. How to literally be nice around others. Like, basic table manners. I somehow have so much knowledge in that that it's impressive. I just have a terrible body to do so with. If only I could actually work on this. Well, I'm trying. But, I don't know. Be, be sure to tell me down in the comment section below because I'm curious. But, uh, we'll probably go through, like, a bit of the inner, inner compound and then do the soul protocol. And then we'll do a little bit more... And then after that, that should be it for at least this part, because I do want to keep these, like, well spaced out. But, uh, before I go ahead and go ahead and go for a battle, which says here, fight off cake monsters in your way. Okay, which, that, that plot looks hefty. Uh, but it says, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna read comments, that's what I mean. There's actually a kind of long comment from Draco saying, uh, uh, plumbing... Man, I suck at this. Uh, there's a comment from Draco saying at 507, Crunchy Chip has a good point here about the current Republic. It looks so perfect and privileged while poor cookies are left to rot in the shock of mud town with none of the elders seem to care about them. All just feel so corrupt. I do give him props to the kingdom for addressing such a topic in the story. It does definitely feel, uh, make me feel like, uh, not really like the Korean Republic. It doesn't make me like the Korean Republic. That's what they're trying to say. Uh, I especially hate the elders, except for Cat and Caviar and Mole Juice. They are cool. I'm pretty sure that point, that's the point, but I just don't care about the current Republic anyway. But I much prefer the parts of the story with Wildberry and Crunchy Chip but great video as always. I guess it makes sense, but I also kind of like how, uh, Ginger Brief is kind of, like, more like... On, on Ginger Brief's point of view, it kind of... It's him focusing more at, like, the forefront. Just, like, the basic front of everything current Republic. You know, taking everything at face value. But with Crunchy Ship and Wildberry, it's more like digging into, like, the back of, like, the current Republic. Like, more into the shady stuff. Like, the more deep stuff that gets more creepy and more disturbing. But, I don't know. Anyway, we have the inner compound over here, which we gotta go ahead and fight the Chocolate Glaze Chain... We was just to try and stab and pull. Luckily, uh, oh, oh, okay. We now have the Cape of Vanqu uh, Cape of the Vanquisher treasure, which is maxed out level 12. Okay, cool. I'll take that to the bank with me. Why the pub not? I guess maybe after each level, I think I'm supposed to get like a new treasure. Uh, they cannot get away. So, Purify. so here's what I'm thinking, because there's two treasures that got released in this update. So I'm assuming I got the one treasure now. So once I enter the third battle, I'm going to get the second one. So I can get some sort of a buff. But it's just right there. There's everything about it. There's a potion just in case if you suck. Even though I feel like you can actually Purify. go through this like flawlessly. As long as you just press the skill. Heck, can you actually just do this without like using the skill button? I'm actually very curious if it is possible. Like, I'm not even joking. It's gotta be. Because like these levels aren't like... They're not the most difficult things in the world. But Purify. like there's not much challenge. Then again, it's more just focusing on like telling a story as far as my knowledge goes. But, uh, yeah, take care of this plug. His skill goes on for a while. Attack speed, tailwind, damage down. Sheesh. I have fulfilled my duty. Oh, uh, yeah, good for you, buddy. All right. Well, I think... And we also get some plumbing arena tickets. That's good. This will be the last cutscene that we do for this video. Though, I think I do want to do a couple other things around the kingdom just so I can get some uh, other events done, you know? But, uh, with that being said... Oh, yeah, these events just got added. I didn't see these. But I mean, Guild Battles Renewed and also Guild Battle Event. Yeah, I didn't see these at all. Okay. I guess I'll focus on those at some point in the future. Uh, but anyway, why, by the way, why the plug is just this little blob over to the right. Just not not there when you go down here. You got the dragon, you got the uh, the deity. But then you got the dragon, deity, and the blob. Where the plug did he go? Did he just melt? I don't know. But uh, anyway... We can now go ahead and... Uh, actually, should I read comments first? Depends on how many I have left, because I don't think I have too many. But uh, I'll just read the comment that I see from uh, uh, you, a user that's in Jibber saying, I know this is uh, a lot late, but it has to do with the BC's Chapter 4 ending. Ignore the genocide of cookies who were affected by white flower apathy. The story ignores that after Dark Account defeated her. It, like, ate... It's like, ain't we going to ignore what happened to the other kingdoms, or is that a me thing? Sorry for the long comment. Your comment wasn't that long, but I'm pretty sure the moment that Mystic Flower Cookie got defeated, I think everyone reverted, because I feel like that would have made, like, a lot more of a bigger impact if we just saw a lot more genocide happening, because I think it was happening to, like, other cookies like Fenunci and Clotted Cream, right? I think they're just back to their happy self. I think they reverted, so I think we're good. Anyway, the sole protocol. The sole thing we need to be doing. Commence the sole protocol. I said, commence the soul protocol. Are you listening to me? Hmm? Oh, uh, sorry. 
Focus, focus. A small miscalculation and the dough will end up imbued with a soul. I know, I know. Let me turn this thing on. The dough is not reacting. Next batch. Changing specimen. Hey, you know, isn't it odd if you think about it? Is there a problem with the specimen? I mean, don't you think it's peculiar? The goal was to make a vessel for a beast cookie soul, right? And yet, here we are, making sure the dough is not imbued with a soul. Aren't we doing the exact opposite? Uh, they would have informed us of any changes. We are making sure the dough is not imbued with just any soul. Only those matching the beast cookie's parameters. The superiors have everything figured out. Keep your head down and make sure the work is done. A reaction. It's rather unsettling. Let's dispose of it. A vessel for a beast cookie? Dough, life energy, souls. Whatever they are trying to achieve goes against the principles of nature. Okay, I think I get it. To some extent. See, the reason why Wind Archer is really mad about this is because they're trying to force life. Like, this life isn't, like, natural. It's not like, you know, natural, like, birth. You know, it's not like that. This seems, like, scientifically enhanced and, like, forced upon, which goes against nature because that's not how the cycle of life works. Cycle of life works like, you know, flipping birth, eat, drink, breathe, breed, die. That, that That's just, like, the cycle of life. That, that's basically how everything goes. But this dough is being not only just a force of life, but it's being used for benefits and not for existing. I know it's kind of deep to explain, but I think that's what I'm getting at the story. And I would want to go through more of the story, but I feel like I've already juiced this enough for enough content, considering that there's only going to be just a bit more. And, uh, well, this could, this could probably only last on for, like, two more videos, but I also, like, don't want to just, like, immediately, like, rush through the story. I could do one video on it, but then what would I have for an update to talk about? But anyway... There's still some other stuff that we could probably do around here, anywho, but for now, I'll just do some other random missions, and there's also some comments that I still need to finish off, so it's fine. So, for example, I think I saw a comment from Aaron Funhouse saying, uh, common question, never got scammed a day in my life. Man, I'm jealous of you, but I'm also proud of you. But also, there's a few comments from Smart and Spiral, which says, uh, common question, response, so I actually got scammed, uh, what the fuck was, uh, I got scammed about buying the wireless mouse before, but it's actually a wireless mouse. Could you, me, you gotta check the box. I, th I think that would help, but uh, okay, I gotta play in King of the Marine, of course, uh, which I could just speed run through a bunch of this. Unfortunately, it's making me use Pastry Cookie just because uh, Pastry Cookie happens to be, uh, if I click over here, where would it be, Arena Seasons, uh, one of the best ones, and I don't have Wind Archer, so I'm kind of forced to use this, so that's great, uh, but anywho, I think it's just, that's, that's a matter of checking the box. But another comment you left is, the has everyone also finished the I special episode in 100% to completion? For me, I finished before, and for power. now, I need to finish the Moonlight special episode. So, have you 100% finished it, or have you not? Because, like, that kind of seems like, you know, kind of like a mixed bag. It's just like, I finished it, but I didn't finish to 100%. I don't know. Pastry Kiki lowers my level of the team so much. I came. Uh, I saw. All right. I punished. But... There's also another comment from, uh, oh gosh, or, I'm sorry, Smart and Sparrow saying, oh gosh, do I still need to reach the more t higher tier Super Mayhem? I think I need to reach the Master tier. Well, if you do, I hope you do, because uh, you're going to get a lot of good rewards if you reach that high. But we'll just see what happens. Maybe you can get high, maybe you don't. Just as long as you do your best. But also, uh, that, that's, oh, that's actually, I came. is that all the comments? I saw. I punished. Yes, pastry cookie, we get it. I cannot wait to get Wind Archer just so I can actually go ahead and swap you off. Because I need someone more powerful and more strong. I'm not saying pastry cookie isn't powerful. I'm just saying, like, I don't have good implications of you. You're one of my least favorite cookies ever since the story related to this stuff. Like, it's kind of, you're, kind of, you're kind of rubbing me the wrong way. What other things can I even do? Upgrade epic toppings and gold battle stuff, which is definitely something I gotta do. The fill wishes. Receive bear jelly train. Cool. Uh, win with a range to... Okay, well, I can at least do that, but I also gotta buy stuff in the metal shop anyway. So, what can I shop for? This... Uh, I do have a lot of metal, surprisingly. Uh, buy this. And, uh, 44, uh, her rise good. Actually, these are soul cores. They're hard to get. So, bam. Alright. Anyway. Let's go. So, we do one more battle, and then we can get some more of these. And, uh, yeah. I think after, uh, just some of these missions being completed, I'll just end the video, because, uh... Encore? 
<laughs> nope. Oh, we could just rush through that. Sheesh. Uh, but after that, by the way, we can get so much loot here. Look at this. There's things from like uh, previous passes and stuff like that, but there's also down here. There's uh, if I can go over here. Uh, by the way, gift points, lighthouse pass, cool. Uh, but there's a new update gift where it gives a thousand of these uh, wind gems and a thousand remedy cubes. You keep going down. There's a new update gift, a thousand of those, ten of the uh, fateful cookie cutters, crystals, remedy cubes, uh, legendary attunement kits, cool. Uh, there's plumbing the beast kit stuff and the uh, juicy stamina jellies. Then there's a, a producer gift from Iwan Kim for thank you. Ten of those, three thousand crystals and three thousand. Rainbow cubes. And I think if it go down more, no, that's it. But look at this. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. A lot of things to take in. That can help me. All right. So with that being said, I think it's a good place to end this video right here. Uh, I won't put that down just yet. But uh, with that being said, uh, if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kicker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also down below uh, uh, in the description. Please watch the wings. Just get out of there, right there, I guess. Away from the fire, I guess. If you join my content in general, subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I'm gonna kick you on YouTube staff for absolutely free. There's a link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just one dollar a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you and Guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Beast!